PVC. Oh my god, I'm so tired. My goodness. But it's the night before record store day, and uh, it's just past 8 p.m. Getting up at about 2:30 a.m. to drive for two hours. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be worth it. But it's time to get some rest and uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Cheers, Vinyl Community at CV and CV's wife. Wifey. Wifey. He's back today. Hi, everybody. <laughs> anyway, this is Record Store Day Review. And Rehydrate. So busy yesterday chasing vinyl, we forgot to drink very much water. But what a fun day we had. It was an yeah, awesome yeah. day. We left really early. So here's some footage here of us driving early in the morning. Photos here, lining up, etc. Are you going to come next year, honey? Or? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It. I'll get up at quarter to three in the morning and drive two hours to go and line up two hours before the shops actually open <laughs> again. Yes. What do we think of it? Well, we lined up for a couple of hours and they um, came around with a clipboard. There's a photo here. You can see Skip taking orders. And uh, they allowed us to pick two each and uh, hoping that, you know, the first 40 people or so were able to get those. Plus a bag, a world record day bag. So we, we decided we'd choose two each so that we could get four and we got a bag each there you go <laughs> the line eventually got longer and longer and longer but we're about 15th 14th something like that so mm. we're able to pretty much get what we wanted um yeah a lot of stuff they didn't have so not surprising of course mm. some stores get in what they can and then there was a shipment that wasn't coming into monday i'm not sure what was in that in my list i had a, a list with me of about 15 or so uh records that i was after in order and um well we basically got the first two of my list so then what happened well we basically just opened the door we walked in They already had them in our in these bags, our choice at the counter, and we got them when we left. Mm. <laughs> it all happened pretty quick. Yeah. About 15 <laughs> minutes, I think, after all of the hours to get there and the hours of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and did you get what you wanted, honey? Or? I wanted some Otis Redding, and I'd like to know how many of you out there are Otis Redding fans. I discovered Otis in 1996. I was living mm -hmm. out at Uluru, uh, which is in the Northern Territory in Australia. Uh, I was living out there for two years and someone there introduced me to Otis Redding, his greatest hits CD, and I loved it. Craig has not actually got into Otis Redding yet. I really wanted an oh. Otis Redding yesterday and he was kind of a bit, mm, I'm not sure. He was an awesome songwriter. He's written so many songs that a lot of well-known bands have actually covered. So I'd I'd love to know how many of you are Otis fans and what your favorite songs are. So we did get one Otis album. He's actually not on it until the second side. Uh, but there's some good other bands that are playing with him. Booker T. Yeah, Booker T and the MGs. There and, you go. And uh, the Marquis. So Booker T and the MGs and the Marquis on side one here. Side two is when uh, Otis appears. We, as you can see, we haven't actually cracked this open yet. Maybe we should. Why not? Do you have the Stanley knife? I do. I'll do this off camera in case I stuff it up. This is our first <laughs> look at this. And the other side's really cool. Some studio mm. notes or something. Saturday night, six pop festival. Ah, uh, it's got the start times, finish times. Date, client, program. Ape speed. Engineer, WH, whoever that is. Program, Booker T and the MGs. Is this client, pop festival. Does this come from original tape? Original recordings. Recordings, I believe. So these are the notes from the original tape recordings. I'm looking forward to playing. Look at that. That is oh. awesome. That is a beautiful... Splatter oh, red marble. Wow. It's like a pinky kind of ruby color. How's it smell? Oh, it smells new. <laughs> okay, so this was one that uh, we both really wanted. Interesting last record day, record store day last year. We wanted to get the other Jebediah album, Slightly Odd Way, which I've had on CD for years and years and years. I love Jebediah and he wasn't so keen on getting it because it was too much, it was too expensive. And I decided I would go out on record store day and buy Jebediah's Slightly Odd Way anyway last year. And last week he was saying to me, you know, honey, that's the best buy ever. It's like my favorite purchase. I'm so pleased that you went and bought that for me. Oh, well, actually bought it for me too. But um, <laughs> Is it your collection or is it our collection? Like, what do, what do you guys say? Are your partners into your vinyl as much as you are? Okay, so this is of Someday Shambles by Jebediah. Yes, look at that. Oh. It's quite um, translucent Ooh, too, isn't it? Very translucent. 
Cool. So this has a couple of additional tracks that were not on the original release CD. So mm -hmm. we've got a couple of bonus, which are the, the last two tracks, I believe. And another one. That. And awesome. it is a gatefold, but um, I'd have to wreck the shrink to open it, which I won't. Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. I always get this tongue twisted. A source of full of secrets. Ah, uh, this is a 68. This is not the original, but this is a, a mono version from the original mono mix release. 180 uh, gram vinyl. And you tell everyone about what you know about Pink Floyd. <laughs> I have lots of memories about Pink Floyd. I was over in New Zealand once with some friends and we were at uh, a friend's house who had a massive screen and he was playing one yeah. of their concerts. Uh, something in the Sky. The Great Something or Other great in the Sky. Geek. The Great Geek in the Sky. And and you know where the, th the three backing singers take their, their each of their uh, turn to, you know, just put everything into it. No words really, just wailing. And I was watching and listening to that in the Sorry, dark and, and I had goosebumps. It was amazing. It was fantastic. Wish you were here, one of my favourite songs. I personally don't know a lot about this album. But, uh, this leaves one more for me to get for the collection. That's Pipers at the Gates of Dawn, which is very hard to get. I could get a reissue, but beautiful to get an original press. That would take a few bucks, so we'll see. One question here, what's your favourite Pink Floyd album? Uh, probably Metal. Okay. <laughs> Green Day, Woodstock Live, 1994. Absolutely love this cover. Very similar, if not almost the same as Dookie, but this time this one's got mud all over it. This one's got character. As you saw in my last video, <laughs> I spoke about this, this concert they did. At Woodstock, got nothing too flush, so it's not a, not a gatefold, no special stickers, nothing. Just the cover. No, oh, that's why a, a paper yeah. sleeve. They always use paper sleeves. Here you go. It's very tiny. You can hardly see it. Too, yeah, it does actually. There's a couple over here, like it has been wiped mm. or played. I'm not too happy with that. Uh, I'll check that out. Hopefully, it's okay. Just a little hairline one, but and one more. Hello, David Michael. Did you get a, your copy? I haven't seen your video yet, so. Uh, I hope you got a copy of this. I think I pulled the, the, one? the last one on the shelf. Yeah, Naz okay. Nomad from Canada. So there's a lot going on here. This almost looks like an Obi strip, mm. uh, which is interesting. I was thinking a bookmark or something. <laughs> <laughs> you could make it into And one. it's a double red and white LP, so let's have a look at this. Here is this one with the iconic singer on the front. Ah, oh, every player's got a... Yes. B-side here on this first one there. Okay. So this is recorded December the 10th, 1997 in Orlando. I've no, got the no, red no, one. <laughs> Are they both? Uh... No, that should be white. Wow, look at that. That's very white. Yes, look at <laughs> that. Beautiful. Let's hope they all play well. Is everyone happy of spinning their RSD finds? Any issues, any common issues with any presses I haven't heard of yet? My next video will feature this man, Ian Moss, Mossy, since his latest album, so we went and saw him a few weeks ago. Mossy, of course, the guitarist from Cold Chisel. Still can belt out a tune. I was actually really, really impressed with his vocal ability after all these years singing. And I, I asked him afterward, you know, how long do you leave it between gigs to rest your voice? And uh, it's about three or four days, three days generally. Hard to pick up here on the camera, but this is Paul Kelly. Not sure how long ago this is recorded, actually. Do you know that? Uh, no, I haven't looked. But I just know through playing my Australian playlist through Spotify, which I do when I'm at work, this album tends to feature a lot, pop up, and I love every song I have. It's just, mm. it's just Paul Kelly. It's just. Oh, it's Paul Kelly. Awesome. And it's Charlie Owen and his slide guitar, which is actually a line from one of Paul Kelly's songs. Do you know which song? And I sacrificed Bjork Post so huh. that my honey would get this album because he really, really wanted it. Yeah. So I was playing Björk and Muse in the car on the way home because I didn't buy any of their albums. There's a few covers on here. Uh, Palette on Your Floor, a lot of your you blues fans out there will know that song. Um, let It Be. I wonder if that's the... Yes, Let It Be, Beatles. Beatles. It's the Beatles version. covers. Really I love nice. the Beatles. I love the Beatles. Um, Bet on Wire. Good Things, that's one of his songs. Don't Fence Me his... In. Yeah. Don't Fence Me In, that's a... Everyone's done that, so... Oh, the and last lastly, one! And you know I love these guys. Saving the best for last. Okay. Well, I don't know if this is the best in my clip. I mean, I love Living End. I really do. This is their second LP. Features Roll On, Pictures in the Mirror. I do have it on CD, but this is a limited press. I think it's a European press. Numbered. This is our first numbered album. I don't even have the white album numbered. I've got to repress the 70s. Repress it'd be, of that. It'd be really cool if more albums, when there's a limited release, actually have the... the the number on them, don't you reckon? Why don't they do that? Especially these RSD ones. Mm. Um, I guess there's a yeah. rush, of, rush of production and trying to get things out. Yeah, but, but um, like the, the Jebediah uh, of Someday Shambles, there's only 500 released. So, that's, you know, it's very limited run, 500. How cool would it be to actually have a number of 
which one of those 500 you actually have. So even if they do a re-release, it just makes it that little bit more special. Oh, that's good. The label is the same as yeah. the CD. How many of you collect CDs now as well as vinyl? You don't see this that often anymore. With I like presses. the liner notes and the lyrics. I, I love that. I, I love. I listen to the lyrics as much as I listen to the music. It might be a riff or, or a melody and a chorus that really hooks me in first. Or simultaneously, it could also be a, a lyric, the, the actual lyric or a one-liner or something like that, and that's what hooks me into a song. All right, guys. No worries. Well, cheers out, everyone, and uh, I'll check out a few of your videos. <laughs> and everyone's going, where's, where's CV's beer and wine? Anyway, we had plenty yesterday. yesterday and again today with family up, so greens and water <laughs> hydrating. <laughs> Hope you had a great day. Let us know in the comments what you bought, what you liked about it, or was there something you don't like? I'd like to know about that as well. Um, did you get what you wanted or yeah. did you miss out? Well, cheers out. Have a good one and talk again next record store day, honey. Are you going to appear again before then? I, if I let you. Yes, possibly might <laughs> if you let me. <laughs> uh, yes, I will be seeing you all. I'll decide that. Thank you. Oh, all right, on that note. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.